Okay, so it's the 23rd of January 2023, and this is an update to a video I did yesterday about the background apps and processes list where I said it was broken. Well, it's fixed. More details coming up. Don't forget to like this video, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video I'd done yesterday, which told you that the background apps and process list was broken, but thankfully a day later, it has now been fixed. So let's just go into the app. So you might still see that uh, it's saying the version of the app you have installed is 1.302A6I. Today's date as per your device is today's date. And you're seeing this because your device time is incorrect. Well, it's not incorrect. The app is broken, but thankfully it has been fixed. So what do we need to do to get back into it? Well, hopefully nothing at all eventually, but if you're needing to get into it straight away, then probably the best thing to do is to go into the uh, into manage apps. So let's just go across to the uh, uh, cog on the top in the top right hand corner, go down and across to applications, go into there, go into manage installed applications, middle button, and then find background apps and process list. Then press the play pause button on the remote control to uninstall. And then the middle button again to confirm you want to uninstall it. OK, once it's uninstalled, press the home button on the remote control. That's the picture of the house. Go across to the magnifying glass, go down middle button and then just start to type background. And as you're typing it, it will come up underneath the keyboard. Once you see it, go down, highlight it so that it's in white middle button on the remote control and make sure that this one here is highlighted, not this one here that's got the word legacy after it. You want this one just here without the little line beside the heart there. I don't know if you can see that, but as you can see, the legacy one's got the little line beside the heart and it's got the word legacy in it, although it's difficult to see. It's the one without the word legacy to the right of the heart. So highlight that middle button on the remote control. OK, and then when you get to this screen, middle button again, and just wait for it to download and install. Now, this bit might take a bit of time. It really does depend on the speed of your internet connection and, of course, the speed of your Fire TV stick or cube. Once you see open, it's now installed. So middle button on the remote control, and then hopefully this time it will load up without any problems. There we go. Let's just scroll down. OK, and back button on the remote control, and there we go. It's now working. Now, I haven't got a lot of app, apps on this system, but uh, we can then use the app as we normally would. So let's just do that. And close selected apps. There we go. Let's full stop these. And full stop the next one. And there we go. So background apps and process list is back working again as of the 23rd of January. 2023. Don't forget, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not have a look around? I've got thousands of other videos covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully, whilst you're here, you're going to find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money. Thanks very much for watching. See you again soon. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then please don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CW Tech and my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thanks for watching.